Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 446. I'm your host, Simon Sanzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. And well, uh, first off, uh, this episode comes out on the, what, 20... Oh, boys. Yeah, the 29th. So, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and all. I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and hope you guys got a lot of awesome gifts and whatnot. And I hope you guys are in well. Uh, I hope you guys are well in health and whatnot. So yeah, uh, let's hop right into the news. Oh, uh, boys. So first up... Um, new final statue for Velvet from Them Fighting Herds up for pre-order. So yes, if you are a huge fan of the um, four-legged fighting game, uh, Them Fighting Herds, they seem to have a 5-inch figure of Velvet right for sale or for pre-order. And uh, besides that, uh, she looks cool. Um, I... Not sure how much, so that's why we're going in now. Oh, boys! She's sixty bucks for pre-order. Hmm. Then we got some other things here. Um, collectibles. I think what those are stickers, no pins. So yeah, th- these these are cool. These are cool. Uh, in honesty, I I got no idea when they're gonna come out. All I do know is that they're available. Well, sort of. Um, yeah, everything is up for pre-order, and if you do buy the, if you do buy anything above a hundred dollars, you get free shipping. So yay, that's awesomeness. Uh, besides that, let's see how this looks because uh ooh, those those looks like real things like prototypes they look good but the what you call this the sad part about this one is that um velvet's uh, fluff here is not fluffy like i know it's unrealistic for me to ask for her fluff here to be fluffy and whatnot but don't you feel like you just want to rest your head there I mean whatever so anyway let's move on to the next news so talking about figures we moved on to another figure Kotobukiya Luna and Celestia prototypes reveal so you guys know that Kotobukiya have one of the most awesomest figures out there right like her like like most of the Kotobukiya stuff are really cool and now we have a prototype and this is elaborate. This here is really elaborate. Um, yep. So this is Luna. And th- th- it's, I'm just speechless. She just looks really good. And this is Luna and Celestia. Wow. Well, yep, yep. Th- th- these are awesome. These are awesome, guys. Because, um, we we only got to see um, Luna's pony statue, and we don't see Celestia's yet. So I, I'm guessing they're holding it for the future. And besides that, expect them to be about a hundred dollars. I think give or take. I'm not hundred percent sure because most of the Kotobukiya stuff do run about. 199 bucks I don't know probably pre-order price you get it cheap so you can just head on to the place where you usually buy your enemy swags and last on the list is another new Trixie model from the Game of MLP game so I usually don't cover this but I have a feeling that I've talked about this twice now this year so um, judging by the looks, this is pretty cool, pretty neat. I do like the model. Uh, it's just Trixie with some new clothes and a new hat. And uh, what's this? This is part of the Nightmare Before Hearts Warming. So this was part of the thing that we covered last week with the Nightmare version of the ponies. Um, 
nothing much to be said except this looks cool if you are a fan that do play the game uh, and do keep up with the trends of the game uh, <laughs> rockin so that's the news for this week and well um, honestly there's nothing much to say because this is what um, hey kitty <laughs> one of the few benefits of having a new camera but ah uh, yes, I was saying. Um, I'm recording this on Boxing Day, which is the 26th of December, and there's nothing much to do. There's not much news in terms of ponies and stuff. Um, everybody's on well, quote unquote vacation and and so on. So I, I'm just what you call this. A recording what I have covered, but mostly people are on break and are just you know taking five from life and stuff. This year has been one hell of a what you call this one hell of a ride from the pandemic to uh, other stuff in between. I mean, most of the movies this year. Uh, let me let me check. I believe I've watched nine nine movies in total, and most of or some of them are from uh, streaming sites like uh, Netflix or HBO Go and Hulu and so on. So yeah, um, I have to say that this year has been really interesting. Like most of the movie selections that I picked were. Kind of strange, but anyway, um, this uh, what have I been doing with my week? Not really. Um, technically, Christmas was okay. Uh, I, I celebrate Christmas. Oh, sorry. Um, Christmas is also f- my father's birthday, which is on the twenty fifth of December. <laughs> so it's kind of a two in one thing. So. Had roast chicken, celebrate dad's birthday and whatnot. Didn't really get any presents though, um, which is kind of, well, some people might consider it sad, but I'm used to it by now. Like, mm. but let's just wrap it up. Let's just wrap it up because I'm sure you guys want to hang out and get ready for the new year, the year of 2021. Wow, we've been around for a long while now. But anywho, let's just move to the future with high hopes and great expectations let me just see when i'll be recording next oh god why me so anywho if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the gmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter account is at the mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo you can also, well, also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also, what else? Like our Facebook page. Uh, you can also catch us on point5.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the NQs, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Like, you guys got no idea how much your support helps me. And if you guys at home would like to uh, contribute to the show uh, in terms of showing support and whatnot, go do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. I really appreciate it a lot. But anywho, let's, well, let's wrap things up. I have been Norman Sanzo, and well, we'll catch you next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya!